Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fully utilize your gaming PC using the Hisense UHG slash UHH model TVs, both in 55 and 65 inch. Now, before I begin with my video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below. It really helps me grow the channel and I appreciate it very much. So without further ado, let's begin. So we're gonna start off with basically the hardware and then we're gonna jump right into the settings. And what I wanna show you here is how to fully utilize your gaming PC so you could get all those options, which is the 120 Hertz 4K, HDR, VRR, and ALLM option on. As you can see in my bottom right corner here, I have all those options on and it looks amazing. So we're gonna start off with the hardware. Now, this only goes uh, for NVIDIA graphics cards as I, as I don't own any uh, AMD cards at this moment that do support the 120 hertz 4K option. So it's very important to know when it comes to uh, NVIDIA, uh, the most lowest uh, specs that you're able to use in order to have this option is the RTX 3000 series. And in this case, I have the RTX 3060. So I would say any RTX 3050 and up will give you that 2.1 HDMI capability to actually have the 120 Hertz option. Uh, it will not work with the RTX 2000 series, unfortunately, even if you have the RTX 2080 Ti, which I tried already, even though that's a much more powerful card than a, the RTX 360, uh, unfortunately, it would not give you that 120 hertz. So that's very important to know. Next, another very important thing is you must have a certified HDMI cable 2.1. Um, and in this case, I'm actually using a Micro Center brand inland, which is around $20. But there's plenty on Amazon. Uh, definitely got to make sure it's a good one. Sometimes you get like a bad one and you might have to return it. Uh, and some of the issues that you might have with, with the HDMI cable is once you get all the options working, it's going to flicker, might you lose sound, and things like that. So uh, definitely you got to invest uh, in a good HDMI 2.1 cable in order for everything to properly work. So as far as hardware, that's uh, pretty much it. And of course, uh, we are talking about the... Hisense UHG in this video is a 2021 model, but it'll also will, this will also work with the 22 model UHH model. So first thing is first, we're gonna go to the settings here in your Hisense. And this is probably the one most important option here is the HDMI format. You gotta have it on enhanced format and that'll unlock that 120 hertz option and that way you could actually see it in your nvidia control panel which i'm going to show you in a bit and just like the previous video very important to know that uh this tv comes with two hdmi 2.1 connections which is hdmi 3 and 4 which are the bottom left two ones so you have actually two of them in my case, I'll use it for a PC and the other one for PS5. So it's really good, especially for this price point. I'm very happy so far with this TV. And maybe later on I'll make some other videos uh, using this TV with other things. Uh, so that's one thing that's very important. Now let's go back to the menu. And just like with the other video I made about the PS5, you want to go to Game Zone and Game Information and click on Game Information tab here yours will be off once it's on now you have all this showing here this little bar on the right which shows you the fps hdr vrr and alm on now you could see they're all working and all the games that do support this technology look fantastic next uh basically you want to just go to uh your picture settings and my preset i like to use HDR Sport, which gives you that nice bright color, advanced settings, and basically just follow along and use my settings. Now, this at this point, we're just want to just get the full performance HDMI dynamic range full, 
and this is a very important setting here instant game response you want to have this on on uh, usually it is either on auto or off and that will give you that ALLM option on now if that's off that option will be off unfortunately and another option that I like to use here is HDMI uh, input optimization and for PC gaming uh, picture quality optimization seems to be uh, the way to go the coloring and the detail looks a lot better we'll come back to this later on when I jump into a game so that is it on your settings here next we're gonna jump in to the PC settings and again you see every time I exit out it says 120 Hertz so I have things already set up here so on your Nvidia control panel which you could just do by right clicking and clicking on Nvidia control panel there are a couple of items you wanna uh, go over uh, one is change resolution and under PC notice that we have two things here we have the the HD ultra settings and we have the PC you want to go to PC choose the 4k resolution and then choose 120 Hertz you could also have 100 Hertz now that was this option comes up only when we choose the enhanced option on the menu setting that we did the first thing in the Hisense menu go ahead hit apply and now you have that full 120 Hertz capability so that takes care of that next to get the VRR working you want to go to the setup G-Sync there you go and then this option first will be uh, clicked off so you want to go ahead and click this box and check mark it so it'll look basically like this again I already did it before so I'll do it for you backwards just to show you and then back on right there apply and that will get you the VRR to work and that's pretty much it on this area here you close out so we already got three or oh, two things no three things already working here we got the ALL on the VRR and 120 Hertz and of course the last thing you're gonna do is go to your display settings which you're gonna right click just like you would for NVIDIA control panel display settings and here you're gonna go ahead and enable the HDR option and that's gonna give you that nice color again I just wanna show you what happens when you turn it off and it comes right off and then just go ahead and click it on and now we got the HDR and there is one last option here and I like to move the HDR bar all the way to the right to get that full brightness and that's really up to you so here we are we got everything working now to the fullest capability now I'm gonna jump into a game and show you how everything looks now this is our Resident Evil 4 remake and let me just change this to full screen there you go as you could see we're at 4k 120 Hertz display we got the HDR mode on and yeah believe it or not I am able to play this game at 4k with pretty good settings not fully maxed out but nevertheless quite playable 
and then we could just jump into the game just to give you an idea how this looks and there you go you could see on the right side of course you're not gonna get 120 Hertz in 4k with this RTX 360 on this game but nevertheless the option is there and you got that nice color everything is bright and again uh, if if you ever want to use my settings just copy them down which is the sport preset HDR mode and you and you have yourself a really nice looking setup here everything is running smooth the game looks great and yep that's pretty much it if this video was helpful I really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and hit the like button uh, it really helps out with the channel if you're new subscribe I got plenty of videos uh, coming around and also be sure to check out my channel I got tons of videos and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye